good morning. Welcome back to the book of Exodus. We're in Exodus chapter 40. It's the last chapter, 40 chapters. And let's read verses 9 to 12 today. The tabernacle is being set up, and let's just pick right up where we left off yesterday. Then you shall take the anointing oil and anoint the tabernacle and all that is in it, and shall consecrate it and all its furnishings, and it shall be holy. You shall anoint the altar of burnt offering and all its utensils, and consecrate the altar, and the altar shall be most holy. You shall anoint the laver and its stand, and consecrate it. Then you shall bring Aaron and his sons to the doorway of the tent of meeting and wash them with water. So everything here is anointed with a sacred anointing oil. Remember, this is kind of the commissioning or the, uh, this is, you know, pressing the start button. And now the, the, the sanctuary is in order and, and the, the ministry plan all begins. And this is, it's all set up and boom, here we go. And we're going to go on and this is going to go on for a very long time. So this is starting it up. This is the startup sequence. This is boot up. I have a few notes here again because this repetition thing is upon us yet again. Uh, and again, here we have uh, uh, Hamilton. This is talking about the repetition. It draws attention to the faithfulness of Moses and the transmitting accurately the message God gave him to deliver to his people. That's page 611 again, like yesterday morning. This repetition is happening all over again. Uh, the repetition permits the contrast to emerge between what the people made in Exodus 32 under the supervision of Aaron with what the people made in Exodus 35 to 39 under the supervision here of uh, Behazalil and the other Oholiab and the other artists. So this continues this pattern that in Exodus everything is narrated at least twice. Uh, and here it's all being set up, and so we have it all over again. Again, uh, in Hebrew, we don't have, you know, yellow highlighters. We don't have capital letters at this time in biblical Hebrew. We don't have, uh, there's not really any means of highlighting. It's just what we have in the text. And so one of the key methods of putting emphasis and, you know, highlighting something in, in this with this uh, setup is what? Repetition, repetition. So the importance here, and I've laid into this a few days in a row, so you're probably tired of it, but repetition is a certainly a key piece of what's going on here in Exodus. Intentional repetition, intentional repetition by the inspired writer, so to show us that this is important business. So now it's all being anointed. Again, we're kind of in the boot up process, setting the start button and getting the sanctuary going. So uh, we'll leave it there now and come back and we'll pick it right up tomorrow morning with verse 13. God bless.